Max Payne video game review. Max Payne is a man whose parents really believed in you know, self-fulfilling prophecies with, with the whole naming thing. And he's also a man who lost his wife and infant daughter a few years ago. Now he works undercover infiltrating a mafia organization and things are about to get bad for him again. The game mixes John Woo style action with film noir. And this is a bit of a strange mix, but it does work really well. Partially because film noir is just jam packed with atmosphere which a game always serves well for having and but it does not necessarily provide for that much action at least in video game form because noir is more about plot than you know chases and the like whereas John Woo action is you know when you have John Woo's style, his approach to making action, the only thing you need is a good story and, you know, a solid atmosphere. So, it's a really good marriage. You fight your way through New York during a really long blizzard, and really nasty blizzard at that. You meet, you know, the Mafia, there are some other types that I won't go into too much of the plot because I really don't want to give anything away. It's pretty nicely put together. The film noir feel really works, although after a while, the game does go to some locations and get into some plot elements that are not that typical film noir. The second game does better at this. There is, of course, a femme fatale. Now, the the graphics are pretty, pretty good, although suffer slightly from the game being, you know, so long. It, it was delayed some. Now the, I gotta talk just briefly about Max's facial expression. He looks like New York really really smells bad. Okay, I guess I just answered my own question. The in-game storytelling is largely done in this sort of comic book panel kind of thing, complete with, you know, speech bubbles. There are added sound effects and, you know, the you know, the speech is, you know, acted out, but there isn't, like, animation. It is like reading a comic book only with, you know, the addition of sound to back it up. There are also some in-game, you know, in-engine cutscenes that are quite nicely scripted. Now, the... In these in-engine cutscenes, the camera does get to be, you know, quite cinematic. It's an extremely cinematic game. And very John Woo, but of course in the action itself it isn't as, you know, the cinematography isn't that adventurous and free because you have to actually be able to, you know, see yourself and control what you're looking at. Instead it's a third person shooter and 
basically the John Woo aspects other than you know the weapon selection which is you know there's there aren't really any weapons that are futuristic or any kind of it's all very it's very gritty and very realistic and you know the weapons you have are kind of you know cop weapons and crook weapons kind of thing you know Beretta's Desert Eagle shotgun you know you got a submachine gun now basically other than just running and jumping you can do you can do rolls in you know to either side or backwards and you can dive through the air you know the classic dive through the air of you know John Woo movies in slow motion of course you can also enter slow motion and just move around a bit in slow motion but it drains really quickly and you fill it up by killing and it fills pretty slowly by killing so you won't really want to make a habit of doing that the dive does work quite well in repositioning you and you know dodging incoming fire one problem with this game is that it does get repetitive the gameplay is really all it you know brings to the table as far as you know new experience I mean the locations are nice and again the atmosphere fantastic but the gameplay does get a bit repetitive with really all you're doing is moving through areas diving shooting enemies you know that that's really it it also suffers from a bit of a rigid structure there are a few chapters to it and basically the moment that you you know after a while you figure out you realize that you know it's not actually going to experiment with you know there yeah the levels come in the same order each chapter so it's kind of just there are certain events that keep taking place and they keep taking place at the same point in the chapters so there isn't that much you know it stops surprising you after a while the the sound side is pretty nicely done I suppose that's what there is to say about it please rate and comment and hey if you like this video that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it